This week, Business Secretary Sajiv Javid has announced a review of those bewilderingly complex terms and conditions which appear in so many consumer contracts, and he wants them to be more user-friendly. Well, the industry body for the commercial radio, Radio Centre, will also be submitting its views to Mr Javid because they want an end to radio ads like this. At The Money Shop, we're offering new customers 20% off our personal loans, so it could cost you as little as 49p per day per £100 borrowed. Come into your local Money Shop store today. Representative example, £240 borrowed over three instalments at an annual interest rate of 233.6% fixed. Total he's, repayable he's speaking is very quickly, isn't he? Comprising of three equal payments of 106 pcent APR representative. Did that you get that? Credit and affordability checks and are repaid in monthly instalments. Reduced daily interest rates between 40 Keeping up at the back. The term previous rates from 66 to 80p. Borrowing for a longer period will increase the total cost. Customers must be really? plus T's and C's Are we not at the end yet? For details. Warning, late repayment can really? cause you serious money problems. For help, go to moneyadvisservice.org. UK. Yes. Oh, yes, we are. We're finally at the end. Well, not surprisingly, instead of that, Radio Centre wants something more like this. At The Money Shop, we're offering new customers 20% off our personal loans, so it could cost you as little as 49p per day per £100 borrowed. Come into your local Money Shop store today. But remember, borrowing money costs money. Well, I think producer Alex got a bit carried away at the end there. I'm not sure the industry would want the claps of thunder to go along uh, with the warning at the end. But they do want the EU to relax its rules on this type of advertising. Siobhan Kenny is chief executive of Radio Centre. All the research shows that shorter, punchier warnings are the things that people can actually recall at the time that they need to know them when considering, for instance, buying a car or something like that. So borrowing money costs money. Is there anywhere in the world where such a short terms and conditions has been trialled on radio ads? It has indeed in Holland. And in fact, it has almost 60% recall after they've been doing it for just a few months. So it does work. And it's a lot shorter. A lot shorter. So if Holland can make it simple and better for consumers to remember, why can't the UK? I thought for the time being, at least, we are all part of the European Union. We certainly are. The crux of the matter is that as soon as you mention a figure in advertising, so as soon as you mention £199 a month for a car, for example. To buy a car. Yes. You then have to work through the credit example, which, you, which we heard earlier on. And that's what creates the misunderstanding. And the commercial radio sector, its entire business model, is based on adverts. It is indeed. So how much do you think these rules are costing the industry? Estimates vary between 100 and £130 million pounds a year to the UK radio sector alone. And that's in lost advertising, lost revenue, because frankly, a lot of advertisers tell us they don't want their product involved with this gobbledygook that is broadcast, which is why it's particularly important to us. But it's also based on a relationship of trust with our listeners. So if we start producing things that they think is nonsensical, then they turn off. Will I need to listen to at these gobbledygook adverts of the, in the future? My goal is that we will definitely be reformed in about the next year. Punchy there from Siobhan Kennedy, promising in a year's time financial radio ads will be more comprehensible. Well, the government's consultation on small print closes on the 25th of April and you can find links on that uh, the Moneybox website.